Welcome back to Vampire. Don't mind the horrible... I, I don't actually know what that sound is. Sort of a scream, sort of a throwing up sound, whatever it is. Don't mind that in the background. We're gonna kill them in a second. So, I've just spent a bunch of time leveling up and spending time at the Reed Mansion that we've just found in the last episode. And now it's time to explore more of the West End. We've basically just explored this area right here. We saved that person from that powerful vampire right here. And that's pretty much all we've been to. So I think I'm going to keep heading this way and head towards the park. See if I can find the next letter that my father, my asshole father, left me as part of a, a game to reveal the truth of why they abandoned me. That is so weird. But yeah, let's head over to the park. Oh, and don't forget, I got tons of new abilities. Or not really... Not totally new abilities, but higher levels of abilities because I just spent 14,000 XP in the last episode. So I should be significantly more powerful. For example, this should give me some blood back. And this should do more damage. I remember this time that they explode. Oh, crap. So yeah, Autophagy now does heal over time, but like, it's over a very, very short time. It's no big deal to wait that long. It takes like a second or two. enemies, even though I've just leveled up, they're still pretty tough. Mostly, they just do quite a bit of damage, and they're also kind of damage sinks themselves. It takes a lot of hits, and keep in mind, I mean, my weapons are really damn good. I've got a level 4 remarkable, very remarkable hacksaw, and a remarkable Pruin stake. So I've got, I've got all level 4 purple weapons. Big, big, big problem. Ah. I think I'm gonna die. Assuming I don't die the instant I unpause, which is very possible. I'm gonna try to rescue this back from the brink. Let's use guns and I'm gonna use my serum. No, rats, not it. This is it. Trying to switch to my shotgun! Okay, wow, that was really effective! Oh, I forgot they exploded. <laughs> 
Wow, holy shit, I can't believe I survived. This Milton shotgun upgraded to this point, used against an enemy that's actually really weak to it, is really good. And that is some disgusting green goo. Where the hell did that beast come from, by the way? Was it like, up here or something? Somebody coughed. NPC? I feel like only NPCs cough, but that might not be true. Alright. Oh. Yeah, definitely not NPCs. Speaking of See them fancy clothes! Watch it! It's a killer! I like that one of them said, speak English, as if I was speaking another language. I wasn't speaking anything. Maybe that's what they meant. Talk. What is this? Orchard. Oh, is it like a... the covered... temple covered market? Yeah, I was about to say, it looks sort of like a mall. It's really cool looking. The window's too strong. This damn Victorian era, era bulletproof glass. Or remarkable hacksaw proof. The Blind Gourmet. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. Indeed. Also, I hear footsteps getting closer. Oh, they're above me. I just assumed everything paused when you looked at something like this, but apparently not. Wait, so how do I get to the next floor? How are you, how are you supposed to get up there? These doors all go to shops. What? This is a very weird mall. I'm pretty sure there's more shops up there. Okay, I can teleport, but how are you supposed to? Like, what? what's the natural way to get up there? Shouldn't there be... a staircase? How do shoppers get there? Do the top shops just don't get any business at all? They always get me. God, these look delicious. Have, have the bakers been baking during the epidemic? I guess it could have just been left out. Probably hasn't been that long, right? No, they'd be moldy. It's been... It's been at least, like, a couple weeks, right? Whoa. Good double-barreled. Modern and deadly double-barreled shock unable to stop any not already dead targets. <laughs> All right, how does that compare to Milton's shotgun? So it's a level below, of course, so it's going to do less damage. But let's say if it was upgraded to the next level, it would do 432. 432, 1015. 1015, okay, hmm. I think 
think it's just a little bit worse. It has the same stats in terms of fire rate and reload time and magazine. And if upgraded to this level, it would do a, a bit less damage. Of course, I could... Oh, it'd probably do equivalent damage, actually, if I got the specializations. So it's pretty much comparable, I think. It's always weird every time I see myself in a mirror, partially because the reflection effect is bizarre. What is going on with that? Huh. Interesting. That is the weirdest reflection effect I've ever seen in my life. Can we see it from this camera? Uh, yeah, it's, it's camera angle based. That is so bizarre. So, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I can kind of take a guess. I know a little bit about how reflections are done in games, and especially how they're cheated, to do them in a really cheap way in terms of performance. Because we actually did, like, real, high-quality, I don't know, ray-traced reflections, for example. That would be just absolutely absurd. It would probably take up more resources than the rendering the entire rest of the game just to do that. So what you see is cheap effects... And I don't mean bad, I mean cheap as in computationally cheap effects like this, where, like, an actual mirror, of course, would reflect the, like, the front of Jonathan would be reflected in the mirror, right? Like, if you look here, you would see Jonathan's face and their chest. But instead, we get this very, very strange effect. Usually it looks better in other games. I'm not sure what's up with it, but what we're seeing is a very weird effect of our back reflected in the mirror. Which obviously isn't how mirrors actually work. You can see if I start to move around to where you can see Jonathan's face with the camera, that's when it starts to appear in the mirror. Because now it's being rendered by the camera, so they can just put it in the mirror because it's kind of already on the frame. But if they wanted to render Jonathan's front from this camera angle, then they can't get that information from the camera that the player has. Because we only can see Jonathan's back. So for the mirror to be able to see Jonathan's front, you would have to do some extra stuff where you have to put in, like, another camera, essentially, just for the mirror to reflect. You basically have to render stuff from this angle to get Jonathan's front. So yeah, there's your uh, quick, quick dive into sort of what's going on. That still doesn't explain why it looks this weird. So that's just... That's just weird. <laughs> it would be better not to have a reflection than that. I'm just gonna say vampires. It's because of vampires. Wait, so that's how you get to the second floor? What? You're telling me you get to the second floor of the mall by going through Wakefield Chocolate? That doesn't make any sense. From a design perspective. I don't mean game designer perspective, I mean like... Architect perspective. Person who built this place. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you put the entrance to the upper floor inside of a single shop? There might be other stairs and other shops too, but that just makes it weirder. Cha-ching! Ooh, look at that. I don't know what that's called, but it's a, I don't know, hooded lantern? Directed lantern? Instead of the typical ones that give light in all directions, it's more like a flashlight, sort of, in the sense that it just gives light in one direction. Hats, hats, and hats. J. Hamilton and Son Gentleman Hat. Gentleman hat? I assume more gentleman hat. It's like a fine dress shop. This is 
Braille. Whoa. I need someone who can read this. I just matched F. I was just trying to get their loot. I guess this was on the body that they were feeding from. Unreadable text written in Braille alphabet with just the title in Roman alphabet. Cure for blindness. Well, that'd be pretty nice. I'm a little bit doubtful, though. All right, well, we know one person who probably can read this. And that would be... What's their name? They're in Whitechapel. You. Mason Swanborough. I think the spirit of the skull is eating something really juicy and also a crisp apple. You might be wondering what I'm doing. Well, I swore the next time I saw those beautiful plates in Vampire, the best plates I've ever seen, that I would take the highest quality image I possibly could inside of Ansel. And so that's what I'm doing right now, a 64,000 by 36,000 pixel image. It's about to finish. There we go. I took a screenshot comprised of 2,400 and a few uh, individual images. It took like five minutes or something. Six, seven minutes, maybe ten minutes, I'm not sure. I think it's still saving the file, so I'm a little bit scared to continue, but uh, I'll just assume that it's going fine in the background. Seems like it. I'm guessing I have a couple gigabyte image file on my hard drive somewhere. So I'm excited for that. Okay, let's head further through the mall. Why do I have my weapon out? No enemies around. I cannot enter. Right, so we're looking for somewhere in the park for the message from my dad. In fact, uh, I should probably make that my active quest. I do have it, right? Yes. And it's well, marked on the map, just the whole park. Somewhere in here. I thought something was missing. I disabled the uh, HUD for the picture. There we go. Oh! Didn't know that was an exploder. that camera freaked out for a second secrets oh oh that's a letter Aubrey Reed second letter Reed Mansion 4th of April 1908 my dear son, this is my second letter for you. If you find this one, it means you'll probably have shown the first part to your sister Mary and to my dear Emmeline. I think it's a good thing you don't keep to yourself what you discover. But I leave that for you to decide. Do you remember our long walks in this park? Your mother taught you your alphabet under these trees. I had so many wonderful treasures for you and Mary in this park. You were both so clever, so brilliant. I've always known you'd both become great people. I've always been proud of you. 
I was never able to conceal my pride when I was asked what you wanted to be. He'll be whatever he wants. Your mother was convinced you'd be a great you'd be a great artist like her. You always like to read and write. I still keep your very first poem, like I keep Mary's first drawing. When you chose to follow medical studies, your mother was sagacious enough to cover her trepidations with her wor uh, and her worries. Me, I was happy you did not become a dull banker like me. When you told us you wanted to pursue a career in medicine to improve life for all, without consideration of wealth, I knew we, as your parents, had taught you the most important lesson of all, to respect each and every soul for what they are, not what they have. If you want to know more, all you have to do is to remember which hospital you chose to apply for your first internship. I am as ever your loving father. <laughs> no, you're not. You're still a fucking weird prick. Just tell me why you left, Dad. I had almost forgotten I applied for a position at Pembroke. It was so long ago. Down here. Whoa. Ah, it's a level transition. I'm not going down there. Hell no. Not right now, anyway. Guess it goes down into the sewers or something. It's really weird, though. This feels like such a fancy park. Or at least it was a fancy park before, you know, the plate came in here and everything turned to shit, but. I mean, this is, like, the premier park for the West End, where all the rich people live, and then there's just this... Like, it looks sort of like a construction site. Walled off with a fence. Go down to the sewers or whatever. Feels oddly out of place. There's so much blood in this park. Ooh. Ooh. Places. So where are we right now? Almost at the edge of the map. Bunch of loot and a hideout. Oh wait, what's this? There has been a fight here. I can see a blood trail. Left by one of the antagonists, perhaps? New investigation like father like daughter. Goes that way. Hmm. Well, let's check out the hideout first. What a mess. Something terrible happened here. But what? At some point, we got a thick, sturdy blood sample. I don't remember where from, but let's analyze it. Highest level of regeneration. 800 health points, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Do I really need that much? How much, how much health do I actually have right now? 950. Hmm. I guess? 500, 6, 7, 8... No, this one's, this one's plenty. This one could be of use if I had, like, literally one hit point left, but right now it's mostly just a waste, I think. What's upstairs? 
shouldn't be any enemies in here being a hideout, but still I'm creeped out. I mean, it says beware. Oh, fancy bed I can sleep in. Oh, this is the other place I could teleport to. Just a upper entrance or exit, depending on which way you want to go. Let's follow the blood for this investigation, then. Yeah, this too is obviously a construction site. What were they making here? Little kind of corner. I guess it's away from houses and buildings, so probably wouldn't really bother anybody. Well, not that many people anyway. There's some apartments over there. Pinned letter. Louise, I'm sorry for what happened. Please come back. The city's too dangerous for you to be outside at night. It won't happen again, I swear. If you don't want to speak to me anymore, at least let me know that you're fine. Maybe there's a way to break into this house. Hmm. Wait. I wonder if that's the hint that you would have found to get the quest that I already got. Is that what house they mean? Could be. I just destroying any woody objects around me. there's been a collapse. That's a beast. What level are you? 29. Alright, not terrible. Still powerful, though. If I go for them, though, then I'm dropping off the quest, right? Oh, that's... that's where they are? Huh. Okay, I guess I'm not dropping off the quest, then. Let's go for it. Killed it a lot. Here. I could teleport up there from this direction. <laughs> if you hit them while they're blocking, is that when that happens? Oh, 
This time I remembered. They explode. There sure are. You better leave. Via the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. This is no place for you. I saw someone down there. Where the hell have I been and where have I not been? So twisty windy. I think I've been over most of the park at this point. Should see if I can lock, unlock any gates. That was never locked in the first place. Okay, let's head towards the person that we're looking for for the investigation. Oh, are they inside the mall? They're moving? Yeah, I think they're moving on the compass a little bit. The arrow's pointing down, though. Doesn't that mean they're below me? How do I get there? Oh, you know what? That's... Hmm, that might be a house that I can access from this area, possibly. Or... What else could it be? Could it be that underground place? Where I have to go through the level transition? I guess it could be that. Oh no, I'm so sad. It went through all the motions of taking the full image of the plates, but uh, I think maybe I ran out of memory or something. Because uh, it seems to have pretty much stopped and just corrupted the last third or so of the image. But hey, we got a bit that's usable. This is about a 700 megabyte JPEG file, by the way. Right now we are at 2.73% zoom, if you can see that up here. Let's see how far we can go. God, these are beautiful plates, aren't they? Let's look at the plates in the background. We're at 43%, 90, 102. So this is about the resolution of the image. God, what a beautiful picture. Just wish it wasn't corrupted. I love the smooth edges of these plates. Temple sewers. Yeah, so I think they might be down here. Wow, what a cool and creepy entrance. Endless staircase to the abyss. I hear howling winds down below. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore the temple sewers. <laughs>